Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to be doing the video that I kind of promised you guys yesterday and it's not really a beauty video and it's not a vlog, it's more of like an advice video and basically what it's going to be is advice if you're going for either an EEG or an MRI scan. I have been for both um, all in the course of like this week and my appointments came through pretty fast. I actually had a seizure, well two seizures, that's like four, <laughs> two seizures in the summer so they were trying to get to the root cause of it but I won't find out results about till about two weeks but I'm basically just going to tell you what the procedures like what they both are and yeah they're nothing to worry about so if you are going for one don't worry about them I worried a little bit about the EEG I didn't really worry about the MRI scan which I don't know why but it's not so worried at all okay so I'm going to start off with the EEG so an EEG is a recording of the brain's activity I guess. During an EEG small electrodes are placed on your scalp and when they're placed with it like a special glue, it's not glue because it dissolves in water, it's basically like a gel. The stuff they used before was glue and they had to like dissolve it in acetone but honestly this stuff just you rub water and it just comes off like that. They just took them all off and it's not like a sore at all. It's painless and it takes around 30 to 45 minutes and there are no significant side effects, I didn't have any side effects. Um, but there is a risk that during the EEG you do have a seizure because what they do is they have to shine lights in your eyes like when it's going on um, to see if you have photosensitive epilepsy and what your brain waves do when they see that light. Um, but I didn't have one luckily. They're very rare but they can happen so that's what they do warn you of. Um, ahead of it. So how you prepare yourself for it is you can eat normally before and after. And you want to make sure your hair is clean and free of any products such as hairspray gels because they can react to the stuff they put in your hair. Um, just wash your hair the night before or the morning of the day and after it the only thing that I don't like about it is your hair gets pretty greasy but once you soon as you wash it out it's all fine and after a couple washes all out your hair so yeah that's how easy the EG is it's nothing to worry about and it's not scary really at all the only thing I don't like recommend would be to look at yourself because it, it's not the pleasantest thing to look at like yourself with an EG on so just don't look at yourself unless you look through a mirror uh, just don't like think of anything okay um but so now on to the MRI scan so MRI scan stands for magnetic I can never pronounce this word resonance imaging <laughs> and basically it's a type of scan used to diagnose conditions affect the organs tissues and bones it can be used to investigate the brain bones and joints breast heart and blood vessels and internal organs and depending on what part of your body you're getting scanned, you'll either put, be put in head first or feet first. I always get my brain done, so it obviously was head first. Okay, so basically, you lie in a flat bed, which is moved into a scanning tube, and it's controlled by a computer, which is in a different room from the scanner thing. Um, you'll be asked to remove any metal clothing, such as belts, curb grips, or bobby pins, etc., in case they react with the scanner because it is magnetic. Um, the procedure can take around 20 minutes to 2 hours depending on the part of your body and how much scans you're going to get. Mine took about 40 minutes roughly. It's painless but it's quite noisy I must say. Um, they do give you earphones, like earphones, you don't play any music but it's just to um, make the sound not as noisy but it is pretty noisy may I just say. And the room is pretty cold to so make sure you're in a nice wear. Like I, I didn't think to wear like a anything warm so I just wore a t-shirt but they put a blanket over me and when you've been out in there for a little while you get used to it and it's not cold. So yeah that video was pretty fast but I hope that gave you some tips on the th when you're going for MRI or the EEG. Hopefully I don't have epilepsy or anything like that. I am going for an eye check like eye thing in about a week or so. Um, yeah so it's nothing to be worried about um, it's just basic procedures and they don't hurt at all. Like that's the main question I don't ever ask they ask, they don't hurt at all. Um they're painless. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that kind of different video. If you want videos like this, you can comment below. And if you guys have any experiences with MRI scans, EEGs or other medical 
procedures in video responsive below and I will check those out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!